Hi, I'm Becky. Welcome back to Wellness in the Pelvis. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist here to help you understand more about your body, especially your pelvic health. And today we are going to talk about going to the races, racing to the toilet, especially if you're about to lose it on the back end and why it is that diarrhea is so hard to hold in. So let's shed some light on what's going on down there. I have a lot of patients that get referred to me by their doctor because the patient has what's called fecal incontinence or bowel incontinence, and that is the loss of stool without control. Obviously not an ideal thing to experience. And when I ask these patients about their fecal incontinence, it's rarely ever, oh yeah, I have this perfectly formed stool that comes out and there it is, it just showed up. It's usually when I have my incontinence, it is super loose, not formed, or even all the way down to diarrhea. And so I look at these people and I'm like, well, do you poop without having that problem? Yeah, when my poop is normal. Okay, well, then I think we know what the problem is, right? We need to figure out how to change the way that your poop is so that way you can hold it in. So let's talk about how the anal sphincter actually works. Without getting into the nitty gritty too much, <laughs> this is already kind of nitty gritty, these sphincters aren't meant to contain loose or liquid things on the inside. What I like to tell my patients that I really want you to appreciate if you're experiencing something like this is you can't stop a river with a chain linked fence. So if you can fix that problem, then you're probably going to feel way better. If you're experiencing fecal incontinence and it's you actually really have pretty formed or even hard stools, it might be something else. And that would be worth talking to your doctor about. Um, and maybe even seeing a pelvic floor physical therapist. That could probably help too. Again, it may just come down to those anal sphincter muscles not being strong enough. So something to explore. So what questions do you have? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for checking out my work, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.